Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to what I've done so far. It's, it's going to be like a vlogging type video, but it's going to be me sort of talking a little bit about a subject which a lot of people uh, have different opinions on, which is just education, as you can tell by the title of the video. And this is purely just my opinions of like education in general. Uh, I'm going to try and sort of give both sides to it, but in general it's going to be what I think of it. Uh, so yeah, education. A lot of people reckon to get a high paid job that you need education and a high level one as well to go into university or college if you're in America or anything like that to really get a good job and get a good pay and have a good life. Well, mostly this is true. Actually, there's a lot of stories and a lot of examples of people who have not gone to education to the extreme and haven't spent those years going to university, college or anything like that and they've still made it out pretty damn well. You know, more money than most. This is why sometimes education probably is not the best option for someone, but let's look into some of it. You have to basically do education if you know sort of the sort of direction you want to head in. So if you know you want to do filming, for instance, like filming TV like I know I want to do, or I would love to do if YouTube doesn't ever work out, or at least alongside YouTube, then you can go to a college or university or anything like that and go to a filming course. It's not that hard really. The problem with higher level education is that a lot of people you always have to pay for it. A lot of the time you can't really find higher level education that's free. In the United Kingdom you can get education that's paid for by the government which then you pay back over the years once you get a good enough job. It seems alright, I do not know if any other countries have that but it's a good way for people in England to go to higher education, a lot of people however with that because they can get into course because they're being paid by the government at the time they do not think about the future a lot of people get into a little bit of a student debt or they're on the course that they don't want to be on and you're if you're on a course that you want to be on and then there's someone else who doesn't want to be on it it will distract you so yeah really if you want to head a certain direction and you know what direction you want to head in then education is pretty good but it depends on what direction you're heading in let me give you an example um someone who wants to become a YouTuber and there's quite a few famous YouTubers who have made it without going past like GCSE level. I, I don't know any off the top of my head 100% but I'm going to use one for instance like KSI. He most probably did not go to college or university or anything and even if he did then you know he's gone to university or to college or anything but what I'm trying to say is that at the moment he's making a ton load of money because he knows what to do with his life and he's done YouTube he's done really successfully well on it and because of which he's made you know a good living off of it and that's his job his job is to make videos to entertain you guys which is brilliant to do so uh, syndicate is similar as well again I don't know whether he went to college or university but he, again I don't think he did because at 22 years old and at the moment anyway he's 22 years old and he's made it as far as he have and I'm pretty sure he's probably only just gone to G60 Liverpool probably college at most and then there's other stories of people like Richard Branson who didn't really do anything else and now he's a millionaire or billionaire or whatever because he owns Virgin Airlines and the trains and just everything else I mean it's crazy so basically if you if you come up with a genius idea like Richard Branson you can make a lot more money you can make a good earning and a good living if you make something that people want to do or just a brand or anything like that if you have a successful YouTube career for instance as like one of the paths you could take a successful YouTube career can earn you a really good living and at the moment there are some youtubers who are traveling around the world just going to different countries and vlogging themselves and honestly I am so jealous of it because oh man I love traveling uh, but cost and expenses are so much and it costs me, well it costs anyone a lot of money, but for someone like me, the percentage of the money that I earn to go onto a flight is like almost 90% what I you know, would have to say, but whereas someone who's got a successful career like YouTubers and that, they can more easily put aside money for a flight or to go abroad, which again, I'm just jealous of because I love traveling, but I just cannot do it as much as I'd love to. I'd honestly love to go to basically every country in the entire world. So education, uh, in a nutshell I reckon it's it is important and there's another thing as well with traveling education can unlock different things in your life and you can actually be surprised of how much it can do so 
with education you can actually use it as an advantage you, you don't have to go to college or university just around the corner you know if you live in Birmingham you don't have to go to Birmingham University and the same for if you live in London you have to go to one in London I've always said that after this year as uh, 2016 sort of May time once I finish my college course that I will not go back into education because basically I'll be finished by this point and I'll finish my H&D course however if I was to go back into education I would make the most of it I wouldn't go around the corner like I have done now I would fly myself to New York and I would do the film studies course in New York they've got an awesome little uh, course there which I think would be amazing to do there. The only problem as I was looking at it, it's gonna cost you at least $40,000 to do so for the course, to travel there, and that's not even including living or anything like that. So for me, that's something that I can't do purely because I haven't saved up for anything, and that's why the course, a course like that in England is a bit more easier for English people because we get money from the government that helps us. An example though, I currently live with three girls, right? One of them, uh, she moved in she's from Romania and she's a nice girl and everything she's England is the first time she's been abroad like ever this is the first country she's ever been to apart from Romania and I find that like intriguing like she's what, like 19 or something and the day she moved into this house was the first day that she went abroad for the very first time and for her that must have been an amazing experience and to be able to travel to another country to do to do like education and to study and things she's loving at the moment and uh, I, I can't blame her for doing so in a way because being able to come to another country to study is absolutely amazing really like I said I would love to be able to go to New York or even LA or Miami or anything to do these uh, film study courses I most probably won't even if I got the money to do so now because I'm at that point in my life where I want to finish my studies I want to finish my course this year uh, well, next year, technically, in 2016. But I want to finish the course, and I want to just focus fully on YouTube. Purely so that you guys can have videos more regularly, and hopefully that'll be better quality as well. At the moment, it's quite hard to do college, YouTube, and working at the same time. But it's, you know, what you have to do, I guess. But yeah, with... Uh, with any college course or university course, whatever, you're always hoping to get a job out of it. You're always hoping to, it would hopefully, it will give you the grades to do something else. Not always the case, but definitely it does help. I've been able to get jobs before without having to show a CV. I've been able to get jobs before without having any proper qualifications. And I've known people who have been able to get jobs without having much of an education at all. A famous person who a lot of you might know is Carl Pilkington. He had like literally no GCSEs. He had like one that he failed in, in like history or something. But the point is that now he's, I don't know, I, would, I couldn't even tell you how much money he makes, but he must make enough. And even if he doesn't make like tons of money or anything, forgot, look at his job, he travels the world. I mean, he's brilliant in that like, idiot abroad and like moaning of life and everything. He has gone all over the world. He's gone to so many different countries. And to have a job that you just go to another country and you find out about the culture a little bit, it's amazing. And honestly, I'm, again, jealous of what he can do. And I know people watch him purely because they find him funny for his idiocy. But it's a job at the end of the day that he's managed to get with no GCSEs, with no education. So, yeah, that basically wraps it up there, guys. I just wanted to sort of express my views a little bit on education. That is, yes, it is important. Definitely is important. It's always nice to have education and your qualifications as a backup. But don't always think that if you fail at school or if you fail in college or university, that that's it. Honestly, you can fail at school or university. You can fail your GCSEs and still become something huge and massive. And even if you have to work a job so mundane like at a food place like McDonald's or just in a local retailer's place nine to five or anything like that. Even if you don't work that mundane job, you can always get your connections. I used to work at a Chinese takeaway where I would just be on the counter and I do loads of different things. I ended up being a delivery driver. But while I was on the counter, I encountered someone who was speaking to me and she found that I did film studies and she said that her husband was always in uh, Hollywood and Los Angeles and things like on film sets 
you know, meeting film stars and everything, and she said that she would ask him if he could help me out by getting me in the industry and thing. Bearing in mind, however, nothing actually happened for that, and I didn't hear from her again, so I don't know whether she was bullshitting or... yeah. But, the point I'm trying to make there was, that even working a job where I was in a Chinese, just on the counter, going, yep, your order please, someone came up to me and she decided to make conversation, and by just talking, by conversing about what I do in my life and about that I study media, she was able to offer me a little bit of hope, the fact that if someone else was coming and then they would be able to say, yeah, I will help you, I'll give you this opportunity, then that's it. By working one job that completely irrelevant to whatever you might be wanting to do, whatever you might be studying, you can immediately jump into something that you can do. A lot of the time with jobs, it's about who you know and not what you know. So basically, if you know someone in the industry, I'm going by film and TV again, if you know someone in the industry that's like a mate or something, they can get you on a film set and immediately you can get like a little bit of a acting career or like a filming career or anything. And before you know it, you can get like another, another and another. And before you know it, you've made it out with nothing, really. Uh, I have a mate again who dropped out of college in like level three media in college. He dropped out and he's now got himself a job. He films football matches all up and down the country. He went from doing BBC horse racing to now doing football matches and that was partly because of who he knows. He knew some people in the industry, but it was also because he put himself out there and he was able to get a great job. But education didn't really help him that much because he didn't even, on the records, he didn't even attend that course because he quits like basically after one year and it was a two year course. So education isn't always vital, but like I say, it's nice to have education as a little bit of a backup. So anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. I'm hoping that that sort of opened your mind a little bit and given you a bit more inspiration to not stress over about, say, school or anything like that. It's not important if you do succeed and it's not really a great big deal if you fail at your exams or anything. Life goes on and basically ever since I've done my GCSE exams and my results, they haven't really been that important since. Nobody bothered about them and I was able to get other jobs since afterwards. I did get all right GCSE results, but you know, I've known people, like I've said again, who haven't had great results and still been able to get into job to job. So with that in mind guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't stress out about anything to do with school or anything, it's just part of your life and I'm hoping that you all make the most of your life. I'm hoping that if you want to become a YouTuber, do it now. Become a YouTuber, get your equipment and do it. If you want to become a, I don't know, whatever you want to be, a scientist, mathematician, someone in the film industry, someone who wants to be a musician, anything at all, just do it because for God's sake, you ain't going to get anywhere if you're not going to be putting yourself out there. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want more of these videos, please put in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you next time.